After a 4,000 mile journey by sea from Italy, these monster components arrived at Sohar port, ready to be transported to their final position. The shipment included the heaviest load ever received at the port, the core of Oman's first hydrocracker unit, more than 40 meters long and weighing in at well over 900 tons. This machine is going to be installed in the heart of our uh, upcoming plant, which is the Sohar Refinery Improvement Project. This uh, machine is the reactor in the hydrocracker unit, which is the heart of our refinery. Receiving such loads, this is uh, first of all a new achievement for the port of Suhar that added to its continuous achievement. This is give us uh, more confidence and confirms that the port infrastructure are designed uh, to carry any kind of uh, loads. Orbic is going for this project to increase the production capacity and to make use of every single drop of crude oil we receive from uh, oil production companies. The polyethylene and the polypropylene produced from our upcoming Leoplastics uh, complex can be used for downstream industries in Sohar free zone. The final stage of the journey from the general cargo quayside at C. Steinweg to the new Orpic site would involve meticulous planning and perfect teamwork. And there were still serious obstacles to be overcome. How to switch off power to surrounding homes with outside temperatures above 40 degrees centigrade? And how to cross a bridge over the port seawater channel with a vehicle weighing more than 1,000 tonnes? We have uh, almost like 1,400 uh, cars they're entering the port at, uh, uh, at early time from 6.30 to 8.30. So our challenge was to make sure this equipment is being moved at a safe and secure and to avoid any accident to happen. And uh, with our team, we work together with ROP to uh, avoid people uh, crossing this area. The challenges we have were uh, basically uh, weather. The temperature, as you can see, it's like around 43, 45 today. Uh, other challenge we have is uh, ground bearing uh, pressure. Uh, the SIPC, which is in charge of this area, has a specific requirement of load per axle, which is 11.5. In order to meet that requirement for a 900, uh, 920 ton or item, basically, as you can see, we have to use a big number of uh, SPMT axles. Besides that, we are going to have another uh, challenge, which is uh, crossing through uh, the culvert. We're limited there by uh, a load per axle, which is 10 tons. And that's going to be basically building this long 30 axle four file trailer. That's 60 axles of SPMTs. So I would say, yeah, these three main factors are the whole challenges. It took us around maybe two weeks, one week and a half to sort out. When it's overdimensioned, whether it's long or wide, you can always play with modification, but when it's heavy, that's something which needs uh, pure engineering, let's say. Usually in Oman, this type of equipment, they're shifting them at midnight and early morning. So we had a little bit issue uh, to not cut the power at that time. As you see, it's a summer, and we did not want to cut uh, the power from the community at uh, night time. So we plan it uh, to do it at early morning at 9.30, which most of the people are outside from their house and they are the work. And we, we thought it might take half an hour and thanks God it take only 10 minutes to cross, uh, to cross that uh, power line. Everything went according to the plan and it was planned to move it from a stand work at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning and to reach to this side where it's been uh, put it right now at uh, 10 o'clock morning. We work together, uh, Sohar Port and Free Zone uh, security and safety team with the ROP, Royal Oman Police, Coast Guard, and with the transporter uh, company and uh, ORPEC team. It was well done job for everybody. Now, after two months of extensive preparatory work, the reactor block has to be lifted into place at the refinery in one single day. 
Specialist heavy lift teams, equipped with some of the world's biggest cranes, were brought in to support the contractors. Once the multi-billion dollar modernization program is completed, crude throughputs at Soha will be boosted by 70% with a refining capacity of nearly 200,000 barrels a day. The Hydrocracker will also help reduce emissions from the refinery to below exacting international standards. Once again, teamwork and precision paid off, and by mid-afternoon, the heaviest load Soha has ever seen was sitting safely in place at the core of the new facilities. Soha. It all starts here.